So that's it with the drum on. It's not a proper drum, but it will do to stop sparks and things getting onto my polytunnel, which is right there. And we'll have a go at firing it up. So, paper. <laughs> now I know why it's so difficult to do what you're doing and take a video for YouTube. So let's see if this is gonna go. Well, it's certainly drawing up the barrel. And we've got smoke coming out of the barrel. Fair time, but that's supposed to burn off once it gets hot enough. So we'll see if that actually finishes. I'm not sure you're going to be able to see this because I'm sure I haven't got enough battery. Some of these down here. Didn't pull the fire too far, I think. This is going to take some little while to get a little bit of heat into it to make it draw, but it seems to be drawing. It's coming out of there anyway. Uh, 
the melting snow is sizzling, you might be able to hear it, and might even put the fire out. <laughs> see what we see, shall we? Well, it's remarkably smoke free. Look at that. That's going. Now, unfortunately, one of the metal plates has got um, under seal on. It's uh, actually a, a body panel from my Land Rover, one of the metal ones, one of the steel ones. Um, and it has got some under seal on, so I've got a feeling that it might start to smoke. Hello? Smell something a little bit sweet, but otherwise that's going like nobody's business. Let's see if we can see up there, shall we? No flames up there, but that's too hot to touch already. It's pretty thin stuff. And it probably won't survive this. It's, that bin is probably over a hundred years old as it happens. I shouldn't be treating it like this at all. But um, I've had it a long time and it was kind of in the way. But it's a good test for a 45 gallon drum, which is the next thing I've got to go and get now. That seems to be burning quite nicely. If you could smell it, you could then you could probably smell it's either paint off that or it's the um, under seal on that panel, that metal panel, which I put in so that it would give it a bit of heat. Um, there is no insulation on any of it apart from I did say I'd stick a little bit on the corners here. This, this is just simple household loft insulation. Um, this is really is just a tester to see if the thing works and how well it works. It's already getting pretty warm out here um, and it is, I'm not joking, it is a cold day. So that's my little rocket stove. Well, not so little really. It's about three foot longish by about three foot highish. It'll ha have to, of course, be flued up to um, a mass, a thermal mass, for heating in the house. But um, hopefully I'll have it all airtight, smoke tight. That's not actually smoke you can see there. There might be some coming off. But that's the actual bricks themselves. Though. If I come down here, you can see that's that's the bricks themselves steaming off, heating up and steaming off. Um, I'm probably going to lose some bricks. It's probably going to get far too hot and break some bricks. But this is a tester. That's all it is, it's a tester, and it appears to be working. There's relatively little smoke coming out of this hole, as you can see. Um, there is a bit, but relatively little. Um, and very little coming out of the drum. I wonder how much of that might be steam. Um, I'll give it a bit. We are at 9 minutes 26, 28, and that's a 10 minute YouTube clip. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like my prototype, and I hope you might be inspired to have another go yourself. I'm going to stick a couple of bigger bits of wood in there, just to see what happens. Um, but I think she'll be fine. Okay, thank you very much. Ta-da!